Uh, today, we're here to talk about fusion, combining two particles into one. Last week, at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California, scientists at the National Ignition Facility achieved fusion ignition. And that is creating more energy from fusion reactions than the energy used to start the process. It's the first time it has ever been done in a laboratory, anywhere in the world. Simply put, this is one of the most impressive scientific feats of the 21st century. Or as the president might say, <laughs> right? <laughs> I do think he probably did say this is a BFD. <laughs> Researchers at Livermore and around the world have been working on this moment for more than 60 years. So what does this accomplishment do? Two things. First, it strengthens our national security because it opens a new realm for maintaining a safe, secure, and effective nuclear deter deterrent in an age where we do not have nuclear testing, ignition allows us to replicate for the first time certain conditions that are found only in the stars and the sun. And the second thing it does, of course, is that this milestone moves us one significant step closer to the possibility of zero carbon abundant fusion energy powering our society. If we can advance fusion energy, we could use it to produce clean electricity, uh, transportation fuels, power heavy industry, so much more. It would be like adding um, a power drill to our toolbox in building this clean energy economy. So today we tell the world that America has achieved a tremendous scientific breakthrough, one that happened because we invested in our national labs and we invested in fundamental research. And tomorrow, we'll continue to work toward a future that is powered in part by fusion energy. Fortunately, private sector investment in fusion research is already booming. It has reached nearly $3 billion in last year alone, and we've heard from professors that interest among students has never been higher, which is terrific. And that's why the Biden-Harris administration is aiming to capitalize on this moment. Today's announcement is a huge step forward uh, to the president's goal of achieve, achieving commercial fusion within a decade. But there's still a lot more to do so much more. We'll continue to work uh, toward that goal and find other ways to progress to reach fusion energy. So for example, in September, the Department of Energy made a $50 million investment for public-private partnerships to start working toward uh, fusion pilot plant designs. And we're partnering with the Office of Science and Technology Policy to map out the president's bold vision for driving that commercial fusion in the next decade with the highest safety standards, with cost-effective, equitable uh, deployment that positions American businesses to lead and communities to thrive, and with a skilled workforce that's diverse and inclusive. This is what it looks like for America to lead, and we're just getting started.